returning Heisman winner and all the weapons they have? Yeah, it, it is, you know, but I feel like we're going to be ready for it. I mean, to us, it's just another football game. I mean, they're ranked number one, but what's the difference between them and Georgia? I mean, it's the same thing. We're going to prepare the same. We're going to go out there and play our best to try to win. A year ago, James wasn't quite a household name yet. Everybody knew he had skills. The season's went on. He wins the Heisman. How's your perception of James changed from a year ago? I mean, it hasn't at all. I mean, last year, we knew we had to come in and stop him. I mean, we knew he was going to be a playmaker. I mean, just from watching, looking through the film and things like that, I mean, he's, just, he's the same player. I mean, he's a great quarterback. You know, he has a lot of weapons around him that he can utilize. And, I mean, we're just going to have to do our best to stop him and keep him contained. What's, what's the thing that you can do best to maybe keep him contained? Is it, is it keep him in the pocket? pressures you bring is it stopping an individual player I mean we just play our best football I mean we'll be we'll be in good shape with keeping him contained just play our best football that's all we have to do I mean just worry about something and not worry about too much of what they do we just want to get our job done and then we should be good last year prior to facing Winston you only had a couple of games to look at on film is it a much bigger help this year to have a full season's worth of, of game film to check out his tendencies now yeah, it, it's, it's way better, you know, being able to go back and watch last year's film, watch the two games they played this year. I mean, we can pick up on some of the things that he likes to do. We can pick up on who he likes to go to a lot. I mean, because he lost two key receivers to the NFL. So, I mean, really right now, it's real, real easier for us to uh, go in and look at film and know what he wants to do, who he wants to go to on certain downs. I mean, who his key receivers are and things like that. They lost their taller receivers from last year, and I mean, obviously you're on the back end playing safety, but for you personally, does that give you a bit of an advantage against the guys they have at receiver? I mean, I wouldn't say that. I mean, they lost those two, but they, they came in with some young players who were ready to play. I mean, we're just going to have to go in and play our best football, like I said earlier. I mean, at the end of the day, I mean, it's just going to be it's another game for us, another tag that we have to go in and uh, play our best against them. I mean, that's a good team. I mean, they're not as good as they were last year, but I mean, it's still a a championship contending team. Is there anything that Winston does that when, when you see it beginning to happen, you go, oh, no, here he goes? I mean, just him getting out of the pocket. I mean, if you can't keep him contained, I mean, he can do he can do a lot of great things. And from watching last year's film and this year's, the early the two games, I mean, he's, to me, becoming a better runner. You know, he can get, out, get, get outside the pocket, make a few guys miss, and I think he does that better than he did last year. It looks like he's having a lot of fun. I guess the the object would be just make it not so fun for him. Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> I mean, you know, playing football, you gotta have fun. You can't be too stressed stressed out. You know, with what you gotta get done. So I feel like if we go out there and we just take away the fun from him, make him stress a little bit, you know, get get chippy with his own teammates, I think we'll be in good shape. The front seven for you guys, they had all the guys that were returning, a lot of the attention, all that. It sounds like. You guys in the second year are like, hey, don't don't forget about us. We can do things too on this defense. Oh yeah, definitely. I mean, they're talking about the front seven. We want them to talk about the whole defense. And right now, it's all about the front seven that the media wants to talk about. So we're trying to get it to the point where they're talking about Clemson defense instead of just the front seven. Because I mean, the, I'm I'm willing to go to war with the guys in the back end with me because I know I know the type of heart that they have for the game and things like that. The passion they have for. It. So I'm just trying to get it to the point that I can lead, you know, and try to get my try to get the media to start talking about the whole entire defense rather than just the front seven. Because I feel like, I mean, we can we can win as a defense. We can't win as just a front seven. Because if you don't have those guys on the back end, no matter what you do up front, I mean, it's all going to be the waste. It, it, it has only been two games, but Georgia really never got anything going in the passing game. South Carolina State can game and going there. This is going to be a tougher task. But what what's been different so far this year about? Not you know eliminating the big plays and just being more sound on the back end. I think guys just they just we, we want to be great. I mean we just want to be great back back in the back end. You know we take pride in, in, in winning our matchups, our individual battles. You know with I feel comfortable with McKenzie. I feel comfortable with Cordrell, Gary Peters. You know I definitely feel comfortable with Robert on the side of me. You know and when I come out the game and Jadar goes in, I mean it's no drop off. I feel like Jadar's a, a, a nice quality backup. He's a, he's a good player. And I feel like our whole secondary as a unit has came together and we're ready for whatever. How good has McKenzie been these first two games? 
He's been he's been real good, like you said before. He has he hasn't really been tested yet. I mean, he has a ta he has a task this Saturday, which we'll be able to really judge on his McKenzie's back to his normal ways.